Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome back. I know it's been a few weeks now since I've uploaded and if you don't follow me over on Instagram, I will leave my handle on the screen. I've been updating you on our moving journey over the last few months. So one of the last home moving updates I gave, I was doing some home tours and things like that and we were in the process of moving from Devon back to Kent. And in the last update I gave, I think we'd had a house and it had fallen through and so we were in the process of looking for a new home and we were going to be living with our in-laws. So about four months later, still living with my in-laws and oh my gosh, what a ride. What a bloody ride. Um, excuse the lighting, it's not the best. It has been a manic few months. So I'm going to give you a really short recap just to get you up to speed as to where we are with everything. But ultimately, we found a house and we put in an offer on a property in September and had an offer accepted on the 20th of September for a house, which we were over the moon with. Now, I think I remember saying before, but there was loads of trouble with COVID and trying to get a mortgage during the pandemic is so hard. I'm self-employed, Adam got made redundant, so that made everything just a little bit trickier. So we were struggling, we finally found a mortgage provider and a mortgage lender to get a mortgage with that would fit kind of all of our different criteria and circumstances. And we offered on a property, we had it accepted and we were going through the motions. Now, because of COVID, the lender had so many restrictions in place and was literally questioning everything. And I mean, we had to jump through so many hoops, provide so much documentation. We've had two mortgages in the past and never, ever, ever has it been as hard as this. Um, and honestly, like, it just seems crazy. So that is what happened. And it's been madness. And essentially, we satisfied all of the lending criteria. We'd sent out a full survey on the property. And this was a complete renovation property. We'd had people come in to give us quotes and all things like that because we'd offered and obviously had our offer accepted. And then it got to the point whereby our lender wanted to send out their surveyor to go and survey the property for mortgage purposes. And basically our mortgage lender refused to lend on the property. Now at this point, I was absolutely devastated. I'd also like to add, this was like two and a half months after we put in an offer. So this happened at the end of November. So they went in and valued it on firework night at the beginning of November. I remember that was the day they went in. They was in and out apparently, um, went and valued it. And then we didn't hear back until a week and a half later that basically they were gonna decline it. And then we tried to appeal it and we was like, no. And we were trying all these different things. And basically they deemed it unmortgageable. They said that the kitchen and the bathroom required too much work and that the boiler and central heating wasn't working. We'd kind of had our own surveyor do a full valuation um, or a full survey on it. And at this point I was going to contest it, but it just kind of got to a point where me and Adam was a bit like, maybe this isn't meant to be. Maybe what we're doing, I mean, we'd got it at an amazing price. It was in the perfect location for the kids' schools. I don't know how much you guys have been following me over my Instagram, but at the moment when we live with my in-laws, we're about 50 minutes away from the kids' schools from my in-laws. Um, so essentially I'm gone for generally around two hours each school run, so four hours a day during the school run. I generally leave at eight, I'm back by 10, I go at two, I'm back by four. It's a long slog of school runs for me. Um, and so yeah, basically we were gonna contest it and then I truly believe that everything happens for a reason. And as crap as this is, um, yeah, we, we've lost the house. Um, we are currently homeless still, not homeless, but you know, living with my in-laws. And we never anticipated it taking this long. When we put that offer in in September, we anticipated being in the property by November, not having our mortgage lender at that point still being like surveying the property. Um, it's just madness how long everything has taken, which is why obviously I've been so quiet over here on my channel. Um, so yeah, everything basically blew up, completely went down the pan and we are back to like zero. Not only that, but since putting in our mortgage application, the product that we was going for has now been pulled from the market. So we can no longer reapply for that product on another property and we cannot find any other properties within our budget, within the area that we want. 
Um, prices around this rate just seem to have skyrocketed even more so. And I think now we're just going to hold out, hold fire. Um, we're still looking at properties, but we may go into rented. We're not sure. Um, I don't want this video to be too long, but I did want to just give you a really quick update as to everything that's been going on and why I have been pretty absent and what's been going on with my moving situation. I never ever anticipated when leaving Devon that come December, we would still be homeless. Um, which is madness, absolutely madness. Obviously it's Clayton's birthday in a few weeks, it's Christmas. We have so much going on. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that is basically the long and short of it. And I've taken a few weeks since everything's gone wrong to film this because at the time I was so super stressed over it all, but I thought, you know what? It's not even worth it. And so, yeah, I'm not even gonna let that get me down. Um, and I'm over it now and everything happens for a reason. And I truly believe that something better is waiting for us. So that is my update. Um, I know it's a very short but sweet update. I will definitely be back on in the next week or two to give you a further update as and when we have them. I'm not quite sure when this video is going live, so it may even go live not long before, you know, we might have another update to share with you. And um, we've just been taking our time and processing everything. Um, and it's such a hard situation to deal with, but it's just one of those things. I mean, we obviously have a roof over our heads living at my in-laws. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's all fun and games. And um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. I hope you are all doing well. I love coming on and having these little chats with you. Do follow me over on Instagram because you'll be the first to hear as and when I've got new uploads over here. I know so many of you say that like you're missing my videos over here. And I think that's because of my sporadic uploading. Um, but I will be back to it. Um, we've also had like a whole palaver with offices because I was in the process of getting an office and that office had wonky floors so I couldn't even put up my desk and then I got another office and that office I couldn't get wi-fi from so I've literally not long taken down that office honestly it's just been one of those years <laughs> I guess um but I am staying positive I've got so much going on so much with the kids schools um just everything and work is really really good at the moment i'm really enjoying it i've got so much coming out to you guys over the next few months I finally get me asking gear um but yeah i hope you're all well i hope you're all staying safe stay tuned because i promise there will be some sort of moving renovation type videos coming soon fingers crossed um but yeah this is the reality this is real life and i feel like sometimes people just don't document the bad times and they only document the good times and whilst i didn't record it and document it in that moment of being severely unhappy and sad about the fact that we'd lost our second property in a year um after we'd offered on it um it's just one of those things the boys have settled really nicely into their preschool and school now um i don't know whether this was if i've even updated you but clayton was having a bit of a hard time at school um settling in but he has completely flourished he's doing so so well Parker has made some amazing friends and it's amazing to see his little um yeah and it's amazing to see like his little friendship like blossom with some of his buddies there which is so cute um and yeah meanwhile we are still living with four adults three dogs two children in a house our cat's still in the category but it's all good life will get better like the song says the only way is up right um but yeah, stay subscribed. I have got a haul, a couple of haul videos coming soon of school run mum winter autumn outfits, which I'm so excited to share with you um, when I eventually get them out of the bag because it's been really tough. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for that as well. And yeah, that is it from me. And I will see you all again in another video very shortly. Bye guys. I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you. Wondering if you're thinking about me too Now it's too late Now it's too late